Hey students, my name is Inhian Achojo Chibizi. You're welcome to Chemistry Class for SS1. Our topic for today is Chemical Formula Part 1. Now, at the end of this class, we'll be trying to make you understand the different types of compounds we have and how to write the chemical formula of the various compounds. Now, as we all know, we have talked about what a compound is, but we have to revise on the definition of a compound. A compound is defined as a substance formed when two or more elements chemically combine. That means a compound is formed when you have two or more elements or atoms combined together chemically. All compound has a chemical formula. So all the whole compound, if a compound, a compound must have a chemical formula. For example, water, as you all know, has a formula H2O. And as you can see, water is a combination of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. A chemical formula is a sign to represent molecules of a compound. So we represent a compound using the chemical formula, or you can say the chemical formula is used to represent a compound. Now, what are the classes of compounds? Now, the classes of compounds are divided into two major, major types, but in this class, we'll be paying attention to one. Now, we have binary compounds and we have the trinary compounds. So, for this class, we'll be looking at binary compounds specifically. What are binary compounds? A binary compound contains two elements only. So, these are compounds that have two elements. They are made up of two elements. Elements. So let's look at some examples of binary compounds. We have sodium oxide. This is the formula of sodium oxide. And the sodium oxide is made up of sodium and oxygen. We have calcium oxide. So calcium oxide, this is the formula, and it's made up of calcium and oxygen. We have magnesium chloride, and this, are the, this is the formula, and these are the constituent elements. And then we have iron sulfide and so on. So, in this class, I will be teaching you how to write the formulas of compound. How do you form a formula? How do you write a formula of a compound? Now, simply put, now we write formula from their valences. Very important. So for you to understand how to write the formula of a compound, you must understand the valency of the compound. So, check the previous video and you will see where valences are. So how do we write? For example, let's say we want to write the compound ion 2 oxide. So, ion 2 oxide is Fe and then you have O2 minus. So, what do you do? These are their combining powers. So, this is 2 and this is 2. So, you do what we call an exchange of radical. So, the ion collects these two and the oxygen collects these two. And now, since they can cancel out, they cancel out themselves and then you have Fe Oh, so this is ion 2 oxide. Another example is aluminium oxide. So if you have aluminium oxide, so this is aluminium. Aluminium, the valency oxidation state is 3 plus, and then oxygen, as we all know, is 2 minus. So this is 3 and this is 2. So when you do an exchange of radical, you have Al2 and O3. Now let's take one more example. So we have calcium chloride. Okay, how do we write this formula, calcium chloride? Plus, the first thing you have to do to get to this part, you take the valency, Ca is 2 plus and Cl is minus. So, this is 2 and this is 1. So, you do an exchange of radicals and then you have Ca. We don't write 1 in chemistry. That's why you didn't see anyone. I omitted one here. They have Cl2. So, this is calcium chloride. So, you can see, I am not canceling out because, like this one because they can't cancel out themselves. Ion oxide, the two evil numbers cancel out themselves, but here they can't cancel out themselves. Now, what are the rules for naming binary compound? Now, let's look at the rules. Now, we have seen the chemical formula. How do we name? Number one, the first thing you do while name, or you have to understand why name, name chemical compound is, you name the metallic ion, the cation first. Remember, binary compound are made up of two ions. So you name the cast ion, the metallic ion first, then the non-metallic ion comes second. Number two, what you do is you name the non-metals by adding the suffix IDE to the name. That means, for example, oxygen now, it becomes oxide. Iodine, I remove the I-N-E and replace it with I-D-E. Sulfur, I remove the 
this um, surface and replace it with IDE. Chlorine, likewise, I replace it with IDE. So that is the basic rule why naming the non-metallic radicals. So for example, for example, sodium chloride. So this is sodium chloride. So you name the sodium, remember the name, you don't add anything. But the non-metallic ion, you add IDE. So this becomes sodium chloride. Not sodium chlorine, but sodium chloride. Nothing touches or nothing is changed in this metallic radical. So number two, we have aluminum oxide. So aluminum oxide is Al2O3. So we have aluminum and remove the oxygen and you put IDE. So this becomes oxide. Now rule number three, the third and the last rule, where the element has more than one valency, the valency is written in Roman figure. So for example, there are some metals that have more than one valency like iron. So if you look at iron here, you can see the formula, this is how it is formed. Iron here is two. So because iron can have more than one radical, we use a Roman numeral and place the oxidation state in a bracket, telling us it is iron two. So if you come to this place, this is iron three. This is how the chemical formula is formed. So you can see in the bracket, we have the oxidation state. All right, so that is all about um, chemical formulas and binary compound. In our next class, we'll talk about trinary compound. Thank you very much for participating and make sure you practice so you become perfect. Stay safe. Bye.